Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we've got a bunch of Pokemon news updates to go over, starting off with Pokemon Legends Arceus and then we'll finish up with a shiny event that you can get yourself in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so stick around for that at the end of this video. But kicking off with Legends Arceus, we've just had a new update launched for Pokemon Legends Arceus, so we're currently on version 1.0.1 as you can see when you come into your game here but we've got an update for 1.0.2 and the patch notes have been updated here so we can take a quick look at what has been updated nothing major in the games but there is some quite useful information especially for some of you uh, the first issue that was fixed while offline the screen could freeze after trying to pick up a lost satchel by throwing out a pokeball uh, that contains a pokemon now this isn't something that i've come across particularly in game or her about but obviously it is a glitch that a lot of players have had issues with now this has been patched and you're not going to have any issues when you're collecting satchels offline and throwing pokeballs afterwards or anything like that um so that has been patched now probably the biggest one for me personally in this patch is the next one uh, fixed an issue that sometimes made it difficult to catch cherim it didn't make it difficult it made it pretty much impossible you could not catch Cherum at all uh, in some scenarios so if it came out of a tree it was just you could throw pokeballs ultra balls any balls at it at any hp level and you would not be able to catch it, it was completely glitched so you were able to get Cherum in a lot of situations this is completely being fixed now so you shouldn't have any issues going into your game and catching Cherum and finishing off your pokedex next one was fix an issue where a certain event would not occur during a particular mission preventing that scenario from proceeding as intended so this is in relation to some of the kind of flagged events in the game and if you complete a portion of the game those flags weren't kind of put up and then you couldn't proceed to the next part of your story so there was some issues around that that's fixed now it should all be streamlined and none of you should have any issues once you do this update and then the last one as well is a pretty pivotal one as well where there was some scenarios where you would have an encounter with one of the late guardians as elf uxie or mez sprite and uh, or cresselia i think was another one where you'd encounter them and straight after the encounter would happen again straight away after you'd caught the pokemon so you get like double encounters um, and this sometimes glitched the game where it froze or the, it led to certain issues now this has been fixed and there should be no problems with that now for this update 1.0.2 you're gonna have to update your system if you're wanting to use online facilities so you won't be able to hop online with your game if you don't do this update so you can keep it at 1.0.1 although i don't really feel like there's many pros for doing this you may as well just do the update get the chair and fix get the issues fixed around the other things that can just cause you more problems rather than not so there are the updates for the new 1.0.2 if you want to know how to do that and you don't have kind of auto updates on in your game you just come into your switch and press the plus icon on your game and then come down to software update um, and then you can kind of just go via the internet and it should just connect and update from there okay so that should be that and the next update we've got is regarding an online tournament that is going to be taking place on february the 18th running through to february the 20th uh, this current month the registration is currently open so registration opened on the 3rd of february runs till the 17th of february so you've got that time period in sword and shield to go in and register for this event now the event will take place over the weekend you can have a maximum i think of 45 battles over the the whole weekend with a maximum of 15 per day um, and you will be putting to a ranked system at the end to see who is the best player and who is not the best player but all you need to do is take part have one battle and you're going to be eligible for the reward from this event and this is why i mentioned in this it's obviously good practice for the upcoming vgc seasons that will be hopefully starting soon in the run-up to worlds this year um but you also get the added bonus of getting one of the shiny legendary birds now let me just move myself out of the way for a minute here and you can see them these are the galarian birds and they're all coming in their shiny forms now there will be three international challenges that will be running uh, over the next few months and each one when you enter play one battle you will get as a reward one of these birds now the one that we're talking about here is going to be 
uh, for February is going to be Galarian Shiny Articuno. So that is going to be the, the, the gift reward for taking part in this international challenge in February. So if you're going to want to sign up for that, you just need to come across to your copy of Sword and Shield, go onto your online battle page and then join tournaments in there and you'll be able to find it via the internet and you'll be able to hook up and join. Once I say it, like I say, you just need to play one battle in that and then you'll be able to get that reward when the event finishes and if you are taking part in it i hope you'll have the best of luck it is series 12 format so you are going to be able to play double restrictors in your team and uh, it's uh, a lot of fun the format we're going to be doing a lot of content on series 12 on the channel hopefully starting either later this week or into next week so that about does it we've got the update for pokemon legends rcs the 1.0.2 and then we've got that shiny galarian articuna event as well that is taking place later this month in the international challenge so thank you so much for tuning into today's episode i hope you found this information useful we'll have more updates in regards to how to get the other galarian shiny birds as and when those events kind of pop up so do hit the notification bell and um, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with when those events and registration periods are happening make sure to cover all of them and any more information on legends arceus when it does drop have a great day, friends. Enjoy the Pokemon Direct later on today, and I will catch up with you all on another video on the channel very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.